Hey everybody, I wanted to quickly show you some of my favorite chapter books. Hopefully this video is not very long, but we have so many different chapter books for all different ages that I wanted to quickly point out a few of my favorites. So as we start at the beginning with our beginner readers, um, some of my favorite series are the Billy B. Brown. There's also um, a Hey Jack series that is kind of a sister series. These are great for your very first chapter book readers. They don't have hyphenated words on the pages, so they're really easy reads and they are a chapter book, so those are super fun. The other one that my son has been absolutely loving is Billy and the Mini Monsters. These ones have a little bit of a comic book feel to them, so they're not overwhelming, but they are still a chapter book, so it's a great blend of both worlds. Um, these Mini Monsters, go on all sorts of adventures with Billy. So I love that series. As we get into just a little bit older, Ella Diaries is super fun. It is also has a little bit of a comic book feel where she doodles and draws in her diary and you get to be in on all of the things that happen to her as she goes and experiences her childhood. Um, fairy unicorns and fairy ponies are some of my best sellers and my recommendation is to get the whole series. You can get the whole series for like 25 bucks and your girls are gonna love these books because all girls love fairies and unicorns, right? Or most girls do. Another great one is Bug Brother. This series is so super funny. This boy finds a cape and finds out later that it is magic. And so he accidentally turns his brother into a fly in the first book and has to figure out how to change him back. So super funny, super silly. Um, my eight-year-old son is absolutely loving them right now. Now another one that is on my son's favorite list is Polly and Buster. And actually even my 14-year-old daughter loves Polly and Buster. About a witch and a monster who are best friends, but they're not supposed to be because witches are better than monsters, socially. And it's all about their journey to prove that monsters are just as good as witches. There are so many wonderful life lessons in this series. It is one of my all-time favorites. Okay, now if you have readers that struggle with loving to read or just struggle with reading in general, um, these are a great option. These are graphic novels. These are actually um, our graphic legends. So these take some of our classic stories like Thor, Jason and the Argonauts. We have Three Musketeers, Alice in Wonderland, and it turns them into a comic book. Now these are not baby books. I mean, these have some fairly tricky words in, in here. So your older kids are not going to feel like they're reading a baby book. The graph, the pictures in them are amazing. And yet they're not going to overwhelm your readers either. So we love these ones as well. We have lots of different of those graphic legends. Okay, we also have for your middle grade readers, we have Game Day, which is a new series about Patty who wants to be a basketball player, but he's got a lot to learn. We also have Bear Grylls. How many of you are familiar with Bear Grylls and his outdoor adventure series? He has um, created these chapter book series where he takes the main character on an adventure in each of the different books. So these are great for your outdoor adventure loving fans. Another great one is Lightning Girl. Okay, this is about a girl who is trying to stop the bully from picking on her brother and suddenly lightning shoots out of her fingers and she figures out that she is a superhero. Her mom was also a superhero and her aunt is a super villain and both of them are trying to get her to go to their side. So see what happens in that one. As we move on to older kids, um, these uh, Chelsea Walk series. There's two books in every one of these, so it's super thick because there's two books in each one. These remind me a lot of the American Girl series, where it is a historical fiction. Each of the girls lives in this same house in a different time period. So the story itself is fictional, but it takes you through different events and things that were happening during that time period, the way society was and worked, and so they're really good for bringing some of that historical um, information in. I love reading these ones. Okay, for your action, sorry, action adventure kids, we have 48 hours. 
Um, the kids in this book have 48 hours to solve the mystery. They have to do all sorts of things like um, finding DNA and um, fingerprints and all sorts of stuff in order to save the day. Mapmaker Chronicles is one of my daughter's favorite series about a boy with a photographic memory that gets sent um, on a trip around the world to create a map of the world and all of the adventures that he has while he is on this trip. Um, the Book of Secrets um, is about a boy who is given this really old book and told that he must keep it safe and he is on the run because the bad guys are after the book. So find out why the book is so special. Koromori Chronicles is similar to Percy Jackson. If your kids love Percy Jackson, they're going to love the Koromori Chronicles. Um, it, instead of Japanese, or sorry, instead of Greek gods, it uses Japanese gods and folklore in it. So it is a really fun spin on that kind of a story. And then, for those of you who love murder mysteries, moms included, this um, Clockwork Sparrow series is super fun. There's four books in this series. Um, it is a historical fiction as well, but it is a murder mystery. So super fun times. Now for those who love classics, we have our illustrated originals. We have not abridged these stories at all. These are the original stories. We have Heidi, we have Black Beauty, um, Treasure Island. Look at the beautiful pictures that we have added to make them a bit more fun to read, a bit easier to understand, but the wording is all the same. Um, we also have, look how beautiful that picture is. Isn't that gorgeous? There's a lot of different ones in this series, so be sure to check those out. And then we have The Extraordinary Life Of. These are nonfiction stories about some of these famous people. They're great for our kids to learn about, Sorry, my book is um, backwards. <laughs> but you saw there's Rosa Parks and Anne Frank and Neil Armstrong. Um, so many great ones. They're not super huge. They're not going to be overwhelming. And it's really fun to learn some new things about these famous people and why they're so special. So thanks so much for joining me. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you later.